What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another Swift tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be learning about how you can add a banner ad, like the one you see up here, to your app and actually generate income from the app. So we're going to be adding this banner advertisement through Google AdMob, which is arguably the most popular way to add ads to your app. Now there's a bunch of different platforms that provide capabilities to add ads, but we'll look at this one. Um, how to set up your app on the platform, how to actually get the ad showing up. And yeah, basically that's what we'll be doing. So with that said, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for watching again. Get Xcode ready and let's get into it. Started by creating a new project. And we're gonna stick with the single view application and we'll call this project banner ad. Save it on our desktop and let's get into it. So let's first select our simulator of choice, which is the only one that I've got here, and it's the one I've got open. Hit Command R to build and run, and we'll see our empty application pop up here in just a moment, and then we can start integrating the ad. So we are gonna be integrating the banner ad through Google AdSense, uh, more specifically AdMob. So to do that, we need to do a couple things. We need to actually bring in the Google Ads SDK, we're going to do that through CocoaPods. We need to go actually set up the ad uh, on adbob.com. So we'll do that. And then finally, we need to hook it up. So that said, let's actually bring in the ad SDK. So let's hit this pause button up here and open up terminal. We're going to CD into the project to use CocoaPods. So let's do CD desktop and banner ad. We're going to do a pod in it. Then we will do an open pod file once this returns in just a second like that open pod file. Now in here, what we want to do is we want to actually add the cocoa pod that Google has provided. So I believe it is called Google mobile ads SDK. Not sure if this is plural or not, but I guess we'll find out in a second. The P needs to be lowercased, so let's update that. And hit Command Q to close text edit. Now in here, we can do a pod install. And we should see some green success messages, like the one we see right here in the middle, and the ones down below here, which means it was successfully installed. And actually, under the hood, it installs a few other components that Google has released that the ad integration requires. So let's actually now close this Xcode project with a command W. And then we can open up the workspace that should have been created. So banner ads at XE workspace. And the workspace actually includes the framework that we brought in. So let's expand our Xcode window. And let's also expand the project here go to our view controller and let's talk about what we need to do. So we need to actually go and create an instance of our application on Google's dashboard. And then we also need to create a banner ad instance. So I've actually got Chrome open here already. So we're gonna go here to admob.com and you can create a free account if you don't have one already um, and sign in and there will be an option either in your list of apps if you're a pre-existing user or if you're a new user, like I presume most of you are, there will be a big button in the middle to create an ad. So I'm gonna sign in and get to the uh, app creation flow. So here we are on the app creation flow. And the first thing that it asks you is, um, is your app published on the Play Store or the App Store yet? So it is not, so we're gonna go with no. Then I want some information about our app. So we're gonna give it a name and we'll call it test banner add app. It's slightly irrelevant what you call this here. Um, it, it doesn't have to match your actual app name. 
Now we're on iOS and we can enable metrics for this app. We can leave all this default. So you want to hit next and your app has been registered. Pretty simple. And you'll notice that it gives you this identifier string here. So we want to actually copy this with this button, go back to Xcode and let's actually go into our app delegate and we need to actually initialize the SDK in here. So to do that, let's first import Google mobile ads and in the application that did finish launching for this return statement, we want to do a GAD mobile ads shared and start with completion handler and the completion handler is nil. And you'll notice now if you actually run your app, your app will crash. And let's actually run it and validate that. And the reason it's going to crash is when you tell the Google Ads SDK to initialize, Google expects you to include that string in your plist. So if we actually expand the console here, you'll see that the app has crashed. And the reason is, is because Google cannot find that ad uh, identifier, uh, sorry, rather app identifier. So the uh, app ID identifies the app and then every ad has an ID of its own. So to add the app identifier, we're going to go to our plist and you can add it here. I like to do it this way. So right click on the plist and do show as source code. And in here, we're going to add a new key and a string. So the key I believe is GAD application identifier. And then we want to add a string, which is that string we copied close it out. Now, if we hit command R to build and run, our app should not be crashing. So you'll still see a bunch of things printed out in here from the Google SDK. But that said, your app should not be crashing. Um, so cool. So now we have the ad SDK being initialized and we can actually start creating the banner ad. So if we go back to ad mob, you'll see we can uh, hit this button to create our first ad. And there's actually a couple different types here. And we're going to focus on a banner ad, like I mentioned. Um, I'll be doing separate videos for interstitial ads and video ads and native. So stay tuned for that. So let's hit banner ad. And it wants us to give a name. So we're going to just call it home banner. And once you create it, you notice that it shows your application ID up here. But more importantly, it shows your ad ID. So we're going to copy this and we can use this to actually create a banner ad now. So of course, let's go back to our view controller. First things first, let's import Google mobile ads. And it's very, very simple to create a banner. You want to create a private banner and it'll be of type GAD banner view. And we're going to say banner is GAD banner view. Let's return the banner. We also want to say banner dot add unit ID and paste in that string that we just copied. And let's see the other thing we want to do in view did load is say banner dot root view controller is self. And we also want to load in an ad. So Google has made it very simple to load in an ad. You just basically call uh, load and you pass in a generic Google ad request, which they've abbreviated here to GAD request. So you can do load GAD request, and you don't have to specify any parameters in here. Super simple. They take care of everything under the hood. And let's see, of course, we need to add it as a sub view. Now, don't forget to set the root view controller. This is a common mistake that I see a ton of people do. Uh, your ad will not show up. And before we run it, let's actually lay this ad out in view did layout sub views. And we're going to say banner dot frame. We're going to put this banner at the bottom of our screen. So the width will be view dot frame dot size dot width. Height will be 50 dot integral. And let's actually fix the Y. This should be view dot frame dot size dot height minus 50. 
And let's also set a background color to this. We'll say secondary background color, system background rather. And that's a light gray. The reason I like setting a background color is once you create a new ad, it takes a little while for the Google system to actually start showing test ads in your simulator. So a little while any uh, can be anywhere between, I guess, five minutes to 10 minutes. So um, basically the ad you saw at the beginning, beginning of this video is after I waited a little bit. Now we can see down here that in this case, our ad showed up immediately. Sometimes it takes a little longer. So the thing that I would look for in your case, if it's not showing up, is that uh, you have the background color. So we can actually click on this and you notice it takes us to the browser. And of course, in the real setting, this would take you to the uh, website of the advertiser. Uh, so yeah, that's basically how you can add uh, a banner advertisement to your app and make money. So I love to mention always how people like make money from this, what the model is. So if you're not aware, you can actually generate income in two ways with banner ads. The first one is impressions, and that's basically a fancy way of saying the number of times this ad is shown, so it directly correlates to how many users are using your app. The other one, which actually pays more, is your CTR, which is your click-through rate. So Google will pay you, uh, because the advertiser pays Google, every time a user clicks on the ad. So those are the two ways. Um, the interstitial ad and video ad have similar implementations, but each of them are pretty unique in their own way of how you use them. So I'll be doing follow-up videos on that. So that being said, if you enjoyed this video and haven't done so already, make sure you smash that like button down below. It helps out the video and channel quite a bit. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment. Did you enjoy the video? Do you want to see the other ad uh, videos? Do you want to see in-app purchases maybe? Uh, I always love hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.